God will make all things new that day. Gone is the curse from which I stumble and fell. Evil is banished to eternity. Never crying again and praises to the great I am. We will live in the light of the risen Yeah. <laughs> 
The washrooms are to my left. Once you go in, the first door would be for the gentlemen, and the next door would be for the ladies. Family members, you, mo you may proceed to the back as we get ready to start today's celebration. No. 
never crying again. Shall we all stand and pray as we get ready to start our proceeding? We will be having our entrance song, Excess Love. Hallelujah. So much, oh, 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 you love me so much, oh, let me hear you. Your love is kind. Your love is patient. Your love is patient. You fill my heart. You fill my heart. With so much peace and joy. You're amazing. You're amazing. You make my life in brand new. You are amazing, Lord. You're amazing. You make my life in brand new. Jesus, you love me. Jesus, you love me so much. Oh, so much. Oh, so much. Oh, excess love. Oh.
too much oh you love me too much oh good evening good afternoon again I'm saying good evening because I'm a little nervous at this point in time my name is Ivel Doyle and I'll be your chairperson for this afternoon I want to officially welcome Shelley Finbar better known as Chris father of Dalian and his sister Heidi and his brothers aunts uncle, friends, co-workers, and his brother viewing online, uncles, aunts, cousin, friends viewing online. I want to officially welcome you to this afternoon's celebration as we celebrate the life of our gem, Dalian Fulgens. For those of you who know him, I'm sure right now you can experience his love. You can experience the kindness that you shared with him. So this afternoon, we know he loved life. So I welcome you. Open up your heart. Open up your mouth. Let us just celebrate his life this afternoon. So I want to say welcome, everyone. Welcome, welcome. Remain standing. At this time, we will have our opening prayer by Pastor Benedict Estefan. Good afternoon, everyone. Shall we all pray right now? Our Heavenly Father, we come before you with much of sadness and the many hearts that are broken. Our trust is in you. Father, in the name of your Son, Jesus, I pray that you'd look down upon us right now because we all need the strength to go through this moment. Father, I pray that you comfort, O oh God, the brokenhearted right now. Those that cannot bear it, dear Father, they are unable to bear it. I pray you give them the strength right now, and I thank you because I know you have given strength. I pray right now you take control of this service. There is nothing, O oh God, I can ask you putting into Dalian, O oh God, but I can only thank you because it is you who brought him to this life, and it is you who took him away. I say thank you, dear Father. But I pray for those that are alive right now. Because we know this service is not about the dead, but it's about the living. It is for the living. God, I pray that you take full control. I pray that you speak to the heart of somebody today. I pray that you comfort somebody's heart today. I pray, Father, that somebody will hear your voice today and will understand that comfort is in you. I pray that you show forth your mercies, dear God. Because many are dying, especially many young ones are going, oh God. But we pray for your mercy on this nation. We pray for your mercy upon our communities. Mercy upon your people, dear Father, in the name of your son, Jesus. And I pray, oh God, you will cause one to hear your voice, where one will turn to you today and surrender their life to you before, oh God, it is too late. We thank you for this gathering fund and for everyone that are in this place. We pray for your visitation. Allow the Holy Spirit to take control of this service that nothing will be done for the strength, for the will of the flesh. But according to your perfect will, let it be. And once again, I pray, oh God, I pray for the family. I pray for the mother, the father, the siblings, their father. And I pray for the friends that you will strengthen them right now because they need the strength. We all need the strength, oh God, that we can go through this moment. Take control. Let your name be exalted. Let your name be praised and glorified in the most precious and precious name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. At this time, we would go into worship. So I welcome you to remain standing as we call our worship leader who is already, well, 
<laughs> your job has just started, sister. So, Sister Cyrilia and her team will now take us to worship. The words are in the leaflet. Yes. I love you, Lord. Hallelujah. I know he loved us before. We even love him. Even before we were born, he loves us. I love you, Lord, for your mercy never fails me. All my days have been held in your hands. From the moment that I wake up until I lay in my head, oh, I will sing of the goodness of God. All my life you have been faithful. All my life you have been so, so good. With every breath that I am able, oh, I will see of the goodness of God. I love your voice. Your goodness is running after. He's running after me. Your goodness is running after. He's running after me. Your goodness is running after. He's running after me. Your goodness is running after. He's running after me. Your goodness is running after. He's running after me. Your goodness is running after. He's running after me. Your goodness is running after. He
him to hide us under his wing. Under his wing. This afternoon, I can guarantee you, you are safe under his wing. There is safety under the wing of Jesus. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hide me now under your wings. Cover me within your mighty hands. His hands are mighty and powerful. Hallelujah. Ah. Father, we just bless you in this place this afternoon. We exalt your name in this place. We glorify you. Hallelujah. Hide me now under your wings. Ask him to cover you. Cover me within your mighty hand. Within your mighty hand. When the ocean, when the ocean. Oh, 
hallelujah. We will be still because we know you are God. We want to thank you for the goodness, God, you showed to our beloved Dalian. And even now we pray that your goodness that you showed to him will flow to us as well. Shelly, God is able. He will see you through this time. Chris, God is with you. He is holding your hands. And he will continue to strengthen you. Heidi, keep tapping into the memories that you have of you and your brother. For it will take you through this hard time. Dawn, we know you are not here. Your heart must be aching. But we say, let God comfort you at this time. Right where you are in Toronto. And Glenn, may the peace of God continue to be with you. The aunts, the uncle... The nieces, the nephews, every friend, co-workers from Sandals, we know it's a very trying time. But if there's one thing that we know, God is always with us. And the strength of God is always there for us to tap in. So at this time, we will have our scripture reading. And it's taken from the Song of Solomon, chapter 8. Shall we remain standing for the word? You will sit just now. Let's remain standing for the word, if you may. If you can, that is. Chapter 8, verses 1 to 3 and 6 to 7. To do that for us is Anselma Fulgens. Okay, I think the person has changed. From the Song of Solomon, chapter 8, verses 1 to 3, and 6 to 7. O thou art would as my brother, that sucked the breast of my mother. When I should find thee without, I would kiss thee. Yea, I should not be despised. I would lead thee and bring thee into my mother's house, who would instruct me. I would cause thee to drink of spiced wine of the juice of my pomegranate. His left hand should be under my head, and his right hand should embrace me. Set me as a seal upon thy heart, as a seal upon thy arm, for love is strong as death. Jealousy is cruel as the grave. The coals, therefore, a cause of fire, which thus a most violent flame. Many waters cannot quench, the, quench love, neither can the floods drown, drown it. If a man would give all the substance of his house of, for love, it would be utterly become tempted. This is the word. Amen, amen. You may have your seat at this time. And for those of you who are outside, we still have lots of seats inside. Right here to my right, we have lots of seats here, so you can come in and have a seat. Make yourself a little more comfortable in the house of the Lord. At this time, we'll have the eulogy, and it will be done by Ms. Gidalia Joseph.
we are all gathered here to commemorate the life of Dalian Philogens. Dalian Tariq Kimanik Philogens, also known as Dalio, Dalo, and Koki, only son of Fimba Philogens and the fourth child of Sheila Philogens. Graced is this world with his presence on the 22nd of December, 1996, at the Victoria Hospital. Dalian was that little talkative and jovial child that everybody who knew him loved him, especially the older folks. Because of his quick and clever ways, he entered school very early, which was at the Jack Mel Nursery Center. Later on, he moved to the Rosa Combined School where nothing changed. He grew older and showed more brilliance as he then passed to the Sir Ira Simmons Secondary School where Dalian discovered himself more and knew exactly what he wanted to be and what his true passion was. Out of Sheila, Dalian had two brothers and one sister, Glenn, Heidi, Don, then him coming in the fourth position. His siblings, his siblings made him an uncle to Krijan, Jake, Ivana, and Devon. Dalian from his mother's point of view. When they say a son's first love is their mother, it is in fact true, because Dalian proved it daily. Dalian loved his Sheila. She was his best friend, confident, everything in one. Dalian made sure that he looked good, but made it his purpose that his mother looked even better. As a mother, you can never stop sharing memories and stories of your, your child. But a, a few came rushing when Sheila was asked the question. Dalian, she remembered when she would take Dalian to night service, and when it ended, he would find any excuse to stay back playing. When Sheila would tell him, Dalian, let's go home, he would reply, Mommy, I come in. I have to stay back to socialize with the older folks. Dalian and his cousins, Gidalia, Kiana, Shanice, decided to take upon the habit of sucking their thumbs. Dalian would not suck his thumb without his hand being in his mother's breast. Or sometimes he would even, he'd even go to any other auntie or person he was comfortable with. Till this day, when he was bored, he would st you would still catch him doing that. Dalian was about three years old when he had eczema and was taken to doctor for a checkup. The doctor recommended bathing him in glory cedar. After a few times of crushing the leaf and allowing it to soak, Dalian had already picked up on the pattern and took it upon himself to take any leaf and crush it in the water, thinking it's glory cedar. Dalian had a phone. At the time, they called that phone the blue soap. Dalian decided that one day, while bathing, he needed to bathe that phone. When his dad came home, he told his dad that the phone was dirty and he needed to bathe it. Dalian, from his father's point of view. Oftentimes, you would hear a son's first best friend is his father, a role model and a hero, all qualities he found in his dad. That, in fact, was the truth. One thing's for certain, Dalian was proud to call Fimba his father. Dalian actually enjoyed the nicknames that were given to him growing up, which were T. Chris, T. Fimba, T. Philo, or Philo. Dalian's relationship with his father was always nothing short of amazing. To Fimba, Dalian was his prince, spoiled child, and his world still is. So much so, Dalian's demand as a child growing up were always fulfilled. Dalian made sure that his father never had another child. Every time for his birthday, he would call his father and um, demand the amount of money he wanted. Fimba recalls bringing Dalian every, everywhere he would go when he was a child, leaving home in the morning and sometimes returning in the night. Fimba said Dalian only wanted all the attention to him. A typical conversation between the two would sound something like Fimba calling him young man and Dalian responding, yes, young man. They would ask each other how they're doing and catch up 
and the conversation would typically end like, Dalian, you know I love you, and you know that. And Dalian would respond, Daddy, you know I love you, and you know that. That in itself goes on to explain that the, the love for each other was amazing. This young man was very talented, creative, and passionate. He loved to dress nice. He liked to look fresh, a Yankee brun. Dalian, Dalian, if Dalian catch you looking, not looking good, for sure expect him to tell you just so, or just so you dress like that, that's crazy. Dalian's passion for cooking really propelled when he was in secondary school. He chose food and nutrition as his CXC subject, and best believe he excelled in that area. He later moved on to officially start his profession. He was given the opportunity to work at Chef Robbie, that's upstairs, La Place Carinage. Then he worked at Doreen in Marigo. He also spent some time at Royalton, but where he really got to shine and excel was at Mystic Royal, where he spent most of his time and he gained a supervisor position. Within the F&D department, he's also, he also worked at the Sandals Halcyon. Dalian enjoyed doing many other things, singing, especially karaoke. His favorite song was Everybody Knows by John Legend. Everybody knows, but nobody really knows how to make it work or how to ease the hurt. We've heard it all before and everybody knows how to make it right, but we should give it one more try. That was for Dalian one more time. Da Dalian also loved dancing. Whenever he would hear music, he would burst a whine. Even if he's talking about an event, he don't even reach there yet and he start whining already. Dalian enjoyed being part of dressing people up for whatever the occasion. Everyone shared that about him. One of his friends and cousins, Tabitha, mentioned that he was her biggest motivator. During the time of her pageant and also he was the best godfather to her son, A.J. She would always look to him for fashion tips of, for both herself and A.J. Dallin enjoyed the pageantry, so he took another try at it when he decided to throw Naisha alongside Yadel, where, of course, she took the crown. Dallin's only sister, Heidi, remembered Dallin as the short, chubby little brother who she loved so much. She would take him to school. He was very heavy, she said. When he was old enough, she would take him everywhere they were going, her party buddy or the life of her party. They would even sometimes dress in matching colors, of course, Dalian's idea. Dalian's favorite cousin, Kiana, really... That Dalian's favorite ki cousin, Kiana, recalls, sorry, Dalian coming home to, sh to check her and shouting her from the road. He always wanted them to go and buy crabs and cook it. He really loved crabs. Kiana said Dalian couldn't let her eat in peace. Every time she's eating, he would always come in her plate. She testified how Dalian's passion for cooking caused him to share a lot of his dreams and goals with her. She recalled the moment Dalian wanted to open a food stall so much, he said that he wanted a deep fryer. His mother, Sheila, bought him the deep fryer and gave it to Kiana, and Kiana presented to him as a gift. This boy was so happy, and there are pictures to prove it, when he realized that he was one step closer to his dream. Dalian's Auntie Mandy recalls seeing him, and when, she, when he would see her, he would shout, Auntie Mandy, and hug her, and leave in a hurry, sometimes for work. Despite Dalian leaving his home where he grew up, he would come back every time to visit, and when he comes back, he has to go house to house like it's Christmas. 
Dalian loved the life. His last night, he spent it with his friend, Christoph, where he enjoyed himself dancing, singing, and... To the world, we may have just lost one person, but to most of us, that one person meant the world to us. Dalian loved life. He was loved by many. Dalian lived his life. And that I can live with you today. Hmm. That's crazy. Thank you so much, Gidalia Joseph, for taking us through a little sneak peek of the life of our Prince Dalian. At this time, we will have a special rendition by Miss Yadel Laurent and Mr. Chrysia Gilbert. Chrysia Gilbert. Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon, everybody. This song was specially made just for Dalian, because I know how much he treasured me singing. I don't know why The type beat Love me type beat For this time again, just to see you smile again. Me sit and reminisce for the good times. Me and mash up me miss me friend. Breaks me out to see you in a body bag. Brother, this thing makes me sad. Really wish it was a dream. You understand this thing, but are yeah, you really got? Really wish you never go. This really hit me hard, you know. Never thought I wouldn't see you anymore 
I really wish you would have stayed And that you never went away Cause R.I.P. ain't nothing easy to bear It ain't easy to bear And easy to bear Me miss you brother me miss you bad when me think about the good times that we had it would be nice me could just wake up and just see your face it just makes me out to know you really left deep you really got the whole family broken down you didn't say this was the last time you would be around how are we supposed to feel now that you left i really wish you didn't go this really hit me i didn't know never thought i wouldn't see you anymore I really wish you would have said that you never went away. Cause I'm right, P, and nothing easy to bear. Easy to bear. It ain't easy to bear. Easy to bear. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Yadel. And I'm not sure I have missed her, but I say it's Miss, I guess, Chrisaya, for this special rendition written especially for Dalian. This is a true expression of your love. And we too, we are missing him very much. At this time, we are moving on with our tributes. And our first tribute will be a poem by Nurse Juliet Amos Mondesi. Good afternoon, everyone. Dalian was my adopted son. He lived with me. It's very hard today because it's like part of my life is gone. But I thank God that I know him. I'm born again. And he's my comforter. He's my source. He's my strength. And I raised Dalian in a Christian life at my house. Took him to church when he was off. And every morning I thank God, he was in the shower singing his gospel songs. It is very intense and painful right now for most of us who were blessed to have been part of Dalian's joyful life. He was always smiling. I tried to get him upset and he would just smile back. I take comfort in the words of Psalms chapter 3 verse 5, that weeping may endure for a night but joy comes in the morning. Dalian had this contagious charm and smile. You couldn't tell Dalian, no. He was spoiled by everyone, including myself. On Saturday, 17 December, I woke up a little late and noticed Dalian had done his laundry, two loads of laundry. He hung up some of the clothes and he left the other half in the machine. I took them out. And I said, but he's off today. How come he's gone so, so early? I haven't seen him. Anyways, I went to Rodney Bay to get some curtains, Christmas curtains. When I got home, Diane had the Christmas lights on, and he was just singing away. I said, Dalio, I bought some curtains in New York, but I need some extra for the, the, um, the gather. He says, let's give it to me. And he took the step ladder and he ran, and he put the curtains up for me. He told me, what do you want for Christmas? What do you want me to do for you? I said, well, maybe just to clean the, the balusters on the, the porch, can I have everything I need? He said, okay, on my day off, I'll do it for you. Up to this morning, the lights he put on the, in the balcony are still lighting. I guess they'll go off tonight when he's put, finally put to rest. Um, that same night, he left the house about 9.30 p.m. And he says to me, something he never did before. 
He has his own keys, but he said to me, nurse, open the front door for me. I'm going through the front door. When I get out there, make sure you lock the door for your safety. And that was goodbye. So, it's alone because um, every night I stayed up to 10.30 at night to make sure he came home. I'd be in my room and wait for the gate to open, the door to open, and then for him to close his room door. And I'd go and knock on the door, hello, are you okay? How was work? He says, I'm okay, I'm just a bit tired. He loved his work. He was very committed. Even on his days off, he went to work because he had a quota to meet for the end of the month for marketing and encouraging guests to return to Sandals um, Halcyon. So on his day off, I said, well, where are you going, Dalian? I have to meet my quota. I'm going to the hotel. Um, there's so much I can say about Dalian. So much, so much. You know, he um, look at me and say, nurse, anything you want to do in the yard? If I'm going on a raking my leaves in the yard, he'd help me rake the leaves. He was such a loving boy. I thank God so much for having to share his life. There's so much I can say about him. He was a real handsome man in the mirror every morning, turning around with his lint brush, making sure there was no lint anywhere on his, on his outfit. And even when I dressed up for church, because every Sunday I dropped him at work first at Sandals, and, and then I went to church in San Susi. And he was telling me, but nurse, you're not dressing your age, you're looking so good. I went to a party once, I came home, eh, eh, but you had spat the birthday girl. You're looking better than the birthday girl, I'm sure. I said, yes, that's true. Anyway, to God be the glory. And um, we need to find comfort in God. Like I said, these things happen in life. It's very hard for us. But thank God that Daniel played around all of our lives. Because the crowd there is testimony of the kind of person he was. So in all things, we we'll give God thanks and praise. Okay, because God is awesome. He's our comforter. And Shirley, thank you. When Dalian came to my home, Shirley, his mother came with him to make sure he was going to a good environment to live. And I appreciate that. Have a blessed evening, everyone. And thank you for loving Dalian. Thank you so much. Amen. Amen. This is a tribute by Nurse Juliet, who is Dalian's adopted mother. We pray that God will continue to strengthen you as you go through the days without having him at home. But his spirit is still there with you. We are moving along with our tributes. We have our next tribute by Miss Keandra Kalix. I guess it's Keandra Kalix and team. Feel no guilt in laughter. Dalian was a bright soul. And through that, you will know that you care. Feel no sorrow in a smile that he is not here to share. We should not grieve forever, not even for too much longer. For he would not want us to. I believe that he'd want us to carry on the way we always do. I'd like to take the opportunity to thank everyone for being here. <laughs> to help Dalian's family and friends celebrate his vibrant life. The only way I know how to do that is to talk about the good times we shared with him. The days spent together and all the happiness and laughter we shared. Even though we know sometimes that he was a pain in the butt. But let us let his memory surround us for that we will bring him back as clear as day, as though he was still here in our midst. 
Only in doing so, we can always keep him near and live forever safely locked away in our hearts. I met Dalian when he started working at Sanders. My first impression of him was, that boy really think he in it. <laughs> Every time he walked past me, I would say in my head, look at that boy for me. <laughs> Until he finally spoke to me. By that time, he became a leech in my life. My brother I never had, in and outside of work. I still laugh and cry whenever I think about my dear brother. He would always help me figure things out. Listen to me when I was upset and made me laugh through everything in an effort to cheer me up. Dalian served as my living diary, well, for all of us. We spoke to each other about everything. Dalian would call my names a hundred times a day at work to say nothing, or call my extension countless times just to watch me from across the desk, say hi, smile, and just end the call. I remember our last deep conversation. I was off and he called me. Kiandra, how are you off, troops? And I asked him, what, you miss me already? But Novella and Mariah Day. We gave our inside jokes. Then he started ranting about his day at work. And one of my final words to Dalian during this conversation was, look at you, I'm so proud of you. I will always miss my brother. If Dalian were here right now, he would surely say, Grieve not for me, remember my contagious laughter, remember me singing away, my dancing, and most of all, my presence that you just can't ignore. Most importantly, I'm counting on you all to continue my legacy, because a shine as great as mine can't be snuffed out, because that's crazy, is famous saying. My brother Dalian, you never said you were leaving. You never said goodbye. We were gone before I knew it. And only God knew why. A million times I laughed, so many times I've cried. If love alone could have saved you, you would never die. In life, we loved you dearly. In death, we love you still. And for every day without you, your absence, we will continue to feel it. It broke our heart to lose you, but you didn't go alone. For part of you, for part of us went with you the day God took you home. Our mind is at ease, our, our soul finally at rest. Because of the memories you left with us, we know that we are truly blessed. Your crew, Najim, Shervi, Mariah, Novella, Andressa, Star, Christoph, myself, and not forgetting your work, Mom Dawn. We each have countless memories with you, and we'll hold each one of them very close to our hearts. I'm happy we all got to tell him I love you in our own special way. He, definite, he definitely knew and felt it. We all spoiled Dalian. We will never forget you, brother. We will celebrate you always. Life is not about the quantity of friends. It's about the quality of friends you have. You are the definition of a real one. We love you, brother, and we'll surely miss you. Thank you, mommy, for raising a great son. Amen, amen. Thank you so much, Kiandra and team, for expressing the love that you shared with Dahlia and with us today. At this time, we'll have another tribute by Miss Gabriana Popo.
Good day, everyone. That's crazy. We are here today. Darian was someone who enjoyed life. He knew how to make life enjoyable. Within the time that I knew Dalian, he was someone I enjoyed being around. We would always have a good laugh about something out of the blue. Dalian never made anything a problem. He would act like everything is okay, even though he had his own problems dealing with. Nothing was too much for Dalian to do for anyone. We all have our own flaws, but Dalian was a good person. For those who knew Dalian personally, we all knew how clean he was. He would ensure that everything surrounding him was always clean. He would be the first one to suggest that he's the one who would be doing the cooking, especially if the visio burn was around. From his head to his feet, 10 out of 10. His appearance, the way he carried himself with respect, pride, and it all matched with his personality and kindness. Dalian's brother, also known as Deshaun, who is his best friend. Those two would live together. They went everywhere together. When you saw Deshaun, for sure, you would see Dalian. Those two would never leave home without each other. They ensured that each other wore similar outfits. No one would look better than the other. Matching socks, matching shoes, matching shirts, you name it. They had each other's back no matter what. They would argue today and best friends tomorrow. Dalian's last moments were very great. December 18th, 2022. This day, it was my birthday. We were all celebrating our month. We knew it was our month. Not knowing that God had other plans for us. We were deep drinking, laughing, dancing. We were snapping our last moments, which I will cherish forever. Philo died doing what he loved the most. And I'm happy I was able to spend those last moments with him. May you comfort your family, friends, and loved ones while we try to move on while we carry you in our hearts forever. We have more memories of you to keep us comfort for the rest of our lives. Thank you for making our lives so beautiful. Please enjoy your new home. Thank you. Thank you so much. And we pray that God will continue to strengthen you as well. His best friend, Deshaun, and we have the Vizier Ban, who are friends to Dalian here, to share in the celebration of his life. At this time, we'll have a song by Mr. Devon Pierre. Good afternoon, everyone, uh, to the family of uh, Dalian. He was also like family to us. On behalf of the Vizier Band, we want to say, accept my sympathy. If you give a little more than you take 
And if you try to fix more than you break If you're the kind who takes the time To help a stranger in the rain There's a place for people like you If you stand up for those down on their knees and lend a voice to those who cannot speak if you shine a little light and give sight to the ones who've lost their way there's a place for people like you i've heard up there the streets are made of gold And when you get there, there's a hand to hold. I believe when your days down here are through, there's a place up there for people like you. If you walk around with your heart on your sleeve, and if you try to be the change you want to see yeah. If you lay down your life for love So someone could be saved There's a place for people like you I've heard of that the streets are made of gold and when you get there there's a hand to hold and i believe when your days down here are through there's a place up there for people like you And when you get there, there's a hand to hold. And I believe when your days down there are through, oh, there's a place for people like you. There's a place for people like you. I know you're out there, so keep doing what you do. Cause there's a place for people like you, Dahlia. There's a place for people like you. Thank you, Mr. Devon Pierre and Vizio Ban. Indeed, Dalian shed love with many of us. He showed kindness along the way, I am sure, every day. The various smiles, his radiant smile that he shared with all of us will always be in our hearts. Chris, may you continue to bask in the love that you shared with your son. Shelly, the love that he gave you, his queen, may that love carry you through the hard days ahead. Dalian was a true example of a gem, a prince that wanted to make earth a better place for everyone. So he's gone today, but he will never be missed. But let us take a page from his life and we pray that the angels in heaven are waiting to escort him. We know he will be dancing in heaven. Amen. At this time, we are moving on, and we have a next tribute, which will be a musical one by Sanders Halcyon Beach Resort.
and I know this was his last place of employment, I'm correct, right? So we know Sanders have lost a very valuable employee, and we pray that his presence will always be with you all. Good afternoon, everyone. On behalf of the management and team members of Sandals Halcyon, I would like to share with you a few words about who Dalian was on the JOB. Today, we celebrate the life of our fellow colleague and friend, Dalian Philogens. To his parents and grandparents, you have lost a son. To his siblings, you have lost a brother. Relatives, you have lost a cousin. Nieces and nephews, you've lost an uncle. Dalian was in the prime of his youth when he joined the Sanders Halcyon family on July 11th, 2022, as a loyalty and travel consultant. He went through his weeks of intense training, and trust me, it is intense, alongside his trusted sidekick, Najim. They made sure that each other understood what was being taught. Believe it or not, they did not know each other before joining Sandals. But seeing them during the weeks and months that would follow, you would never know. They formed an inseparable bond that went far beyond the workplace. They became friends. Friends to the point where if Najim was working at 9 a.m. and Dalian's shift was 10 a.m., Dalian would be at work at 9 a.m. He was always there to support his friend and vice versa. Within the short space of time that Dalian worked with us at Sanders Halcyon, he touched many hearts. He was warm and caring and always had a smile on his face. I remember seeing this video of him leaving work after 9 p.m. one night. He was bumming a ride, like he would say, with his manager, Shamel, and referring to himself as the president. It's after 9 p.m. He's walking off the resort after a 9 p.m. shift. The boy is all smiles. Like, seriously, who does that? According to him, that's crazy, bro. Full of energy. It's almost bedtime. Aren't you too tired to have all of this energy? But that was Dalian for you always full of life. We at Sandals Halcyon and Sandals Resorts International have lost a true gem. Halcyon was only the starting point for Dalian. He would have gone far and very far at that. He was passionate, committed, and always willing to assist. The returning guests, managers, and team members of Sandals Halcyon will miss you dearly. Like the song says, there will be another angel around the throne tonight. Your love lives on inside of us and we will hold on tight. It's not our place to question, only God knows why. I'm jealous of the angels around the throne tonight. Rest easy, Mr. President, we love you. Amen. Thank you, thank you for sharing with us who Dalian was at work. And we're coming down to our final tribute, and this would be done by Dion Isidore, a representative from Sandals Grand St. Lucia, St. Lucian Spa and Beach Resort. It's a sad moment this afternoon, but I know Dalian look, is looking down all of us and wondering, that's crazy. He wouldn't want us to be sad, but he would want us to enjoy his life, our lives, and enjoy the moments that we would have shared with him. So, today, I bring greetings on behalf of our managing director of Sanders Grand, Mr. Winston Adams, general manager of Sanders Halcyon, Mr. Phileas Laura, HR manager of Sandals, Ms. Chanel Kaur, 
General Manager of Bahia Principe in Jamaica, Mr. Brian Sang, General Manager of Mystique Resorts, Ms. Audrey Best, and Human Resource Manager of Royalton Resorts. These are all the lives that he has touched, and they send their greetings to the family. I want to make this short and sweet. Dalian was also, oh, before I, before I even start, um, I hope I don't get in trouble for this, but I'm not actually representing Sandals this today. I'm actually representing Mystique Resort um, because that's where we would have worked. That's where we, I would have worked with him most. Um, and we have the team here from Mystique as well. So I want to make this short and sweet. Dalian was always the life of the party. I worked with him from 2017 to 2019, and we have kept in close contact since. Dalian would do anything for the people he loved, even when he didn't have for himself. The depth at which he would go for his friends and team was always astounding. As his direct manager at the time, there was nothing too much that we could ask for him to do. He quickly grew from our friend to our family. He was the gel that brought us together at Mystique Royal. He would be the one to come to me and say, Boss, you know the shift is short? I will go stay an extra shift. Because I know it will be rough for the time. Everywhere he went, that's the kind of person he was. And without even asking. Days he would go without an off just to cover the shift. This is why he quickly grew from a line staff to a supervisor. Not forgetting his work mother, Marthalina, at Royal. Always under her skin, but she couldn't live without him. Lisa and Leanta, his best friends, turned into a lifelong family. That's crazy. Was always his favorite saying, and we'd always remember him for that. One thing we know for sure, his mother was his heartbeat, and he would do anything for that lovely lady. We pray for strength for her and the family. Dalian was on a roll. He was always doing better for himself. He wanted more in life and came over to Sandals, where he found a new fam family at Sandals Halcyon in the loyalty and travel department, where in just a few months, as you could have seen, he has left a lasting impression. And he was also in the process of getting his vehicle in the latter part of last year, and then he was taken from us. It hurts truly, it does, but the good Lord was missing an angel. So in closing, Dalian would want all of us to be happy, live our best lives, and remember the great moments we would have shared with him. Don't wait to do what you want to do, because tom tomorrow is never promised. So do it today. Thank you, and God bless. for sharing with us your experience and the love that you shared with Dalian. So at this time, we come to the part of the service where our hearts will be ministered to. So at this time, I welcome Pastor John Joseph, the pastor of this house, to minister to our hearts. Thank you. I would like every one of you to Put your hands together for this young life, well lived. I want to greet every one of you. I want to recognize um, the past Minister of Tourism, Dominic Fede, and my good friend, Pastor Estefan. I really want to go, give God thanks for this young life. Youth funeral is very sad. And also children's funeral. And when we started a while ago, I felt very emotional. I really want to take this time out just before I share with you, and I won't be long. On behalf of the church that I pastor and my immediate family, I want to extend my deepest condolences to the family. I am so glad that we send a very good soul to heaven. You didn't hear me. I am so glad that we send a very good soul to heaven. 
Somebody say amen. amen. God is a good God. I, so, I heard so many things about this young man. And I'm happy. Because the church is filled with young people. And if there is somebody you could patronize your life after, it should be Dalian. Amen. I realize we have been standing for a long, long time. If you could sit in, sorry. If you could please stand with me, please. The book of Ecclesiastic chapter 12. Ecclesiastic chapter 12, verse 1. Remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth. While the evil days come, knelt, not a year's drawn near. When thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. When thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. Lord, take these words to our hearts. And may you minister to each and every one here. In Jesus' name. You may be seated, please. Remember your creator. This is my topic. Remember your creator. Your creator. This afternoon, because of time and also some of you may be feeling hot, I will be very short. Four words that describe the letter, the letter from Solomon to us. His letter to us. Four words. Accountability, priority, inevitability, and eternity. All the T's. Accountability. Ecclesiastic 11.9 tells us Solomon is now closing his exaltation with his readers. And hear what he said in chapter 11 verse 9. Rejoice, O young man, in the days of your youth. And let your heart cheer thee. And walk in the ways of your heart. And in the, all your sight. But know for one thing. God will bring you to judgment. God will bring you to judgment. Judgment day is coming. What Solomon was saying, and by the way, the text here today was from the book of Solomon. So we are dealing with Solomon all through. Enjoy your life as a young man. Go to dance. Have fun. Live life. Make yourself happy. And there is nothing wrong in that. I'm happy that Dalian was a dancer. As human beings, we must socialize. Somebody say amen. amen. Y'all are watching me. You love to socialize more than anybody else and you're not saying amen. There is nothing. Even me, myself, I love to socialize. There are times I go out Rodney Bay. You think it's only you that go Rodney Bay? I go out Rodney Bay with my wife, enjoy myself, come back 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock in the morning. Somebody say amen. amen. There is nothing wrong in this. Make yourself happy. But one thing you must remember, God will judge us one day. The judgment of God. Remember for all this thing, a brief history about Dalian. And I love that. So many things were said. Yes? Uh, he, was a, he had a jovial personality. That's why people cleave to him. Hello, he met by Black. Hello, very few of us have this thing. Anytime we're going for a little problem, people must know. Because no serious compare what I see. Are you there with me? There is a grown-up man living in town while we were working. He told me, John, never lose your smiling face. In spite of what you're going through, always maintain a smile. This is what Dalian, are you there with me? Not only that, I am told that hey, his father was his best friend. His brother was his best friend. That's a plus. For good family life. Come and clap your hand for that. That's a plus. Some of us young men, we are afraid of our father. We can't even talk to him. 
We talk to him in fear and tremble. But here is his best friend was his father and his brother. Glory be to God. He, he was in love with his mother. Uh, somebody say amen. amen. This was the mother's son. Glory be to I don't know how many children the mother have, but this was her special son. Are you there with me? Not only that, he was a happy son. And always look fresh. Somebody say fresh. The man would spend time in the mirror. Somebody say amen. amen. He will not just push things on him, chuck up things and walk down the road. No, 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 no. I can imagine when he finished. Somebody clap your hand for the young man. <laughs> so every time he walk, he looks sharp. And my man tell me wherever he go, some ladies will open their eye on him. But he was a man that was focused. Somebody say focus. He was friendly to all of them, but he remained. Somebody say amen. amen. Yes, sir. He can sing. And I was wondering, Lord, if when he's in heaven, what work can you give him? And the Lord said, don't worry. He find his place up there. He's dead. I have singing. Yes, he'll join the angels. And one of the angels said, this man is too vibrant. Um, Pastor Estefan, where should we put him? Because he just come here and he's giving the angel competition. And one angel said, put him on Praise Avenue. Where he could sing and dance. And praise his God. Somebody say, Amen. Amen. I love that. Yes, he was a hard working man. Yes. You must be accountable for your life and action. Yes, I know of a, a true story. A friend of mine from Monrepo who loved fat. He loved dancing. He'll always be in a dance hall. And in the midst of it, while he's dancing, enjoying his life, he would just stay serious. And he will burst into tears. And when you ask him, what happened to you, son? He would say, when I remember that I have to die. Regardless of how you enjoy yourself, always remember one of these days, you must say good, goodbye. Solomon enjoyed his life to the fullest. He had 1,000 wives and 700 concubines. I wonder how we would be able to live with all these ladies. And by the way, when the king in that time were, were, were selecting wives, he would make a, 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 a rally throughout the country. And then he would choose all the nicest girls. You come. You come. So imagine all these wives that he had. And yet at the end of it, he said, it's what? Vanity and vexation of spirit. Can I say to you, Yes, Solomon said, ladies and gentlemen, you must be accountable for your own life. Take control, be accountable to your life. Whatever you do in words, in thoughts and deeds. Because remember that God will bring you to judgment. And by the way, we are not praying for Dalian or preaching for Dalian. Dalian destiny is already settled. Are you there with me? So fair, so fair. But based on what everybody said, and, and my dear nurse, are you there with me? We have hope that he's in a better place. Somebody shout hallelujah. Yes, sir. In all what he was doing, I believe, he remember his God, that there is a God up there. Be accountable to your life. Number one. Number two. Solomon speaks of priority. Everybody say priority. Yes. Remember now thy creator in the days of your youth. This is priority. Young people have so many things on their mind. They think of all other things except God. So many things on their mind. Now they have the internet. They have WhatsApp, they have text, they have Facebook, they have Instagram, and the name continues, they go on and on. God knows, that's why he said, remember, so many things on your mind, but in spite of everything that you have, remember, 
Presuppose you forget. Remember, in case you forget, remember God. It doesn't matter how you live in this earth. But when the time comes to die, make sure you have a good ending. Thank God for the young man. Dalian. In case you forget, according to the Webster Dictionary, remember simply means to rethink, being aware, possess your faculty. Are you there with me? You need to know what time you must remember. He said, remember now. Everybody say now. Not tomorrow. A lot of us think that tomorrow we would have time. Who tell you? Dalian didn't know he would go. He was filled with life. He enjoyed himself. He danced. He rejoiced. I can imagine he wake up in the morning with a song in his heart. But just after a few hours, he was gone. Remember your creator now. Everybody say now. Not tomorrow. Not tomorrow. You need to understand that time is not yours. God is not interested in tomorrow. The Bible said today if you will hear his heart, hearken not your voice in your heart in other words. Today you will hear his voice, hearken not your heart. And here the scripture said, behold, now is the day of salvation. Now is the accepted time. The good news is that, thank God that Dalian accept the Lord before he die. Because a lot of people believe they can live anyhow. And when death comes, the pastor can send them to heaven. As though heaven is mine. Let me tell you, if you don't make it right before death, you finish. It would be better that you did not born. Are you there with me? While you are alive, you have to make it right with God. When you die, no pastor, no priest can take you from where you are. Sao plante. Sao fair. Clean you come. You must understand that. I've seen people fight for land. They tear me, tear me. And when the time to die, six feet of land was too much to bury them. Are you there with me? May I tell you something? If there is a life you and I can live, in spite of all what we enjoy ourselves, our social life, our physical life, we have a nice ride, we have a nice house. But in all of that, put God first in your life. Somebody say amen. Now I'm not talking about religion here. I'm not talking about my church. A lot of people believe that you have to be a Pentecostal or you have to be in the church, whether an Adventist or Baptist. When it comes to God, there is no religion. Are you there with me? Anybody who repent, go into heaven. Clap your hand for that. That's a strong statement. Whenever you read, everybody say repent. You are going to heaven. And we as believers, we don't know how to live here in love and unity. Are you there with me? Because I'm Adventist or because you are Pentecostal or you are Catholic. Are you there with me? When you go to heaven, there wouldn't be room for you. Because heaven don't have religion. Heaven just be born again. Oh, somebody clap your hand for that. Hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Priority. Set priority in your life. Yes, go and enjoy yourself. Yes, live your life. Yes, plan your future. But in all of these things, put God because he's number. I can tell you, I did that 14 when I was 14 years. 14 years. And now I'm close to 60, 63. I'm past 60 and I'm still holding on. When I talk to people about the love of God and the good life, the Christian life, and they don't want, I say, God, I open my quiver for more because there is no other better life than a Christian life. Amen. Somebody say amen. amen. So let me move quickly. Not only that. Yes? Sometimes the sight, listen carefully. 
it is certain that that this thing would happen. Yes? It is un, uh, um, unrefutable. It must happen. All men must die one day. The truth we always forget. The sight of death make us remember it. Yes? Not only that, the obituaries, the accident, even when the hearse pass, but yet we usually forget death is inevitable for all. Yes? We lost a son and a good son, a loving son. Yes? We lost a brother. But let me tell you, heaven gain. Your loss is heaven gain. The, 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 the Bible tells us. Yes, God said in, 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 in John chapter 17, Oh, Father, I thank you for those you give to me. I would desire that they be with me where I am. Sometimes I wonder why all these thief and bad boys don't die. Sometimes when God comes, he takes the best. Somebody say amen. amen. And you wonder why. But let me tell you, God wants him to be up there with him. Somebody say amen. amen. So while we cry up there, down here, while we moan down here, heaven rejoice. What did the Bible say? There is joy in heaven over one sinner that repents. Heaven gain and heaven rejoice. Yes? So not only, listen carefully, death is inevitable, but Solomon's also speak of, yes, number three, inevitability. Hear what he said. In Ecclesiastic chapter 12, 3. In the day when the keeper of the house shall fail. Oh yes, and the lips begin to tremble. The strong man will begin to bow down. He was talking about, listen, you leave youth and now you're ready to die. The strong man with P2 or number two begin to tremble. Yes, your teeth, the grinders are just a few. They're coming out one by one. Those that look through the window shall be darkened. Yes, your sight is failing. I remember when I was 40 years, I realized, man, I have a sight problem. I told my wife, I'm going to the eye specialist. She laughed. She said, John, you're just 40 and you're going to the eye doctor? I said, and to, and to. We are almost same age. A few months after, she turned 40. She said, John, you know I have to go and see the doctor. Some of us are here, and as we grow in age, we think that we are young, getting younger. Can I say to you, when you reach 40, you are not growing again. You are going down. And always remember, mortality dwell in you. One of these days, you have to say goodbye. And I have a great concern about our young people. Thank God our dear brother died. God called him home. But we have the death of mostly all our young people. I am concerned and I prophesy upon our young men this year that they shall live and not die. I stand in the gap for our young men. Let them live. Somebody say amen. amen. Last year I was tired of making funerals for young people. They just started. The young man is not even married yet. He was just maybe about seeing a chick. <laughs> yes, you didn't know that. <laughs> yes, but he's gone. Right now, he's in the presence of the Lord. For what the Bible says, to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. The door will shut in the street, Solomon saying, verse 4. There, you begin to have a hearing problem. Yes, sir, not only that. Hear what he said, honey. You will slowly go down. Yes? The almond tree shall flourish. All of a sudden, you begin to get gray. Everybody say gray. A lot of people sitting here, they have gray hair, but you can't see it. They have to say, thank God for the grace of dying. Somebody say amen. amen. I have my wife. My wife have a lot of gray, you know. Gray coming up. And every day, I told her, wifey, I love gray. I love gray hair, especially when you have a patch there. So leave it. Let me enjoy it. Joke you're making. Every day, die. The grace of die. 
<laughs> oh, somebody shout hallelujah. But you don't realize you're getting a little older. Are you there with me? And you must live with expectation that one of these days, God will call you home. Are you hearing me? So here, let's move on quickly. Just before we close. The day the silver cord is broken. What is the silver cord? The day you die. The day when there is a separation between the breath of life and your soul and your body. Are you there with me? And hear what he's saying. That which keep the body, soul and spirit together. Honey, it is certain to happen. It is unavoidable. All men must die one day. The truth we always forget. Are you there with me? One of these days, we all. And finally, he said, not it's just inevitable, but he said also, he talk about eternity. Somebody say eternity. Hear what Solomon said. Concerning eternity. Yes. Solomon also speak about eternity. Ecclesiastic 3.11. He have made everything beautiful in his time. Also, he set the world in his heart. So that no man can find the works of God. Make it from the beginning to the end. Are you there with me? As you live this life, always think about where you will spend e. The American version said, He has set eternity in our heart. Eternity is to live forever and ever and ever. Are you there with me? Eternity is like a dove giving a mission, an assignment to carry all the sand. From shock to Trinidad, grain by grain, and part of it will carry one grain from the other grain, then come back, take another grain, until it finish all the sand in shock. And when that part of would have finished carrying all the sand, it will just be the beginning of one day. Hello? Don't live your life anyhow. God has made provision for us. Somebody say amen. amen. Now when I say for us, I'm not only talking to you, also to me. Because the Bible says, the hell was made for the devil and his. God want none of you all to go to hell. And clap your hand, none of you all go in there neither. Yes? If Dalian were to speak, he would say, none of you all, please don't go there. Because I'm not there. If you go there, you won't see me. Somebody say amen. I'm in a place of rest. I'm in a place of happiness. I'm in a place where there is no more tears, no more pain. Are you there with me? Somebody shout hallelujah. Yes, Abraham was rich. He was a wealthy man. He had everything that you could think of. And yet the Bible record, he was looking for a city. He was looking for a for sure it's not castries. A city whose builder and maker is God. Hello? And I'm sure you have gone through many cities. Especially in the state, South America, America, North America. But there is a city you have not gone to. You have to make preparation to go there. And today, somebody said today. It's an opportunity for you. If our dear brother would speak. He would say, I want all my friends. And look at the amount of people. That's why I know he's popular. Come and clap your hand. Look at the man. The church pack outside have more people. Everywhere have people. Somebody make some noise. There are many of you, in case you die, you won't find people like this. But the thing about it is the way you live your life. Are you there with me? People follow you. If you live a good life, people will talk good about you. But if you are a flyer by night when you die, they will say you are flying. Are you there with me? May I say to every one of you, live a good life. They said the longest thing on a man is his name. Even after death, his name continues. 
You all will continue mentioning that name for a long, long time. Somebody say eternity. Eternity. I tell people, and even as I prepare to close, I may walk with one pants. I may walk with pants with hole. Brother Benedict, God forbid. I may not have a nice shoe like yours. Hello? I don't bother with that. I have my little terrier's jeep there. A lot of people, Pastor, it's time to change that joke you're making. Hello? But guess what? In spite of everything that I have, heaven must be my hope. The Bible says, if any man have hope in this life, he is of all men most miserable. It makes no sense to have all these wealth in this world in this time. It makes no sense, and there is nothing wrong if you can buy a nice ride, buy it. But it makes no sense to have a nice car. When you pass, you don't even know how to put the glass down. Are you there with me? Oh, posh car, posh car. Are you there with me? Oh, yes, today the Bible say they grow up like a bay tree. All of a sudden, the man had nothing. All of a sudden, he had everything. He lived big, but head is not only he lived big, he died soon. Gone to... It makes no sense. It's better you're satisfied with what God has given you. The Bible says godliness with contentment is great gain. Somebody give God a high note of praise. You are contented with what God has given you. And live a good life for the Lord. Amen. You have a chick, a boyfriend. And you all have been living together. You love him, he loves you. Let him, let uh, uh, you wear his ring. I wish I would hear amen. You love the man so much you don't want to wear his ring. Married and live a good life. Somebody say amen. amen. Hey, hallelujah. Are you there with me? This is what we expect. Be a good wife to your husband. A good husband to your wife. And live your life for the Lord. We're closing. Everybody say eternity. As we close, I want you to remember the four things that I share with you. Yes? Number one, the first thing is that even as Solomon himself speak, be accountable to your own life. Accountability God is asking. Number two, set priority. Set priority. Number three, inevitability. It must happen one of these days. You have to say goodbye. And finally, eternity. Everybody say eternity. Chapter 11, verse 9. Not 11. Let me just, I believe it's in the book of John. Let me just share one scripture before we leave. John 5, 11. The testimony is this. God has given unto us eternal life. Somebody say eternal life. And this life is in his son, Jesus. This life is in his son. John 5, 24. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that heareth my words and believeth on him that sent me, have everlasting. How many of y'all want it this afternoon? Raise your hands. I want it. Dalian, tell me, say, make an altar call. I want it in a life. Where is it? I want it. But let me tell you, God is right by your side. Everybody, please stand. In the name of Jesus. It is not time to look at who is sitting next to you. It's a time to make it right with God. Glory be to Jesus. Every eye closed, every head bow. Just raise your hands, all those who have indicated. Raise your hands. God will see these hands. And repeat this prayer after me. Say, Father in heaven, I thank you for your son, Jesus Christ. Who died on the cross to save me from my sins. Lord Jesus, I am asking you today to come into my heart and save me. Wash me with your precious blood. Write my name in the book of life. And help me, Lord Jesus, that I may live for you the rest of my life. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Lord, I stretch my hands. 
Oh God, upon all those who raise their hands, you know them by name, you know them by nature. I pray even now that you'll place your seal upon them. The Bible says, having it sealed, the Lord knoweth them that are his in the name of Jesus. Give them the assurance of salvation and help them, Lord, that they will live the rest of their, their life for you. We bless them now. We reverse every curse and we pronounce blessings upon them. In the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. And everybody say, Amen. clap your hand for the Lord, everybody. Amen. Serve the Lord. Where you are living, they have churches around. Find a church and go and give God your service. Have your seat. God bless you. Amen. Thank you, Pastor, for this encouraging words. At this time, we'll have the signing of the register. May the witnesses, Sheila Philogens, Finbar Philogens, Samuel Francis, and Elsie Mindy Philogens meet me at the table on my right. We'll have a special rendition by Mr. Deshaun Augustine, very close friend of our Prince Dalian. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, as you can see, he needs the support. So we're all here for him. I'm jealous of the rain. It falls upon your skin It's closer than my hands have been Oh, I'm just a dream I'm just of the wind that ripples through your glow is closer than your shadow. Oh, I'm jealous of the wind, cause I wish you the best. And I told you when you left me, there's nothing to forgive. But I always thought you'd come back and tell me that all you found was heartbreak and misery. It's hard for me to say. I'm jealous of the way you're happy without me. We're jealous of the night that we don't spend with you. Wondering what you are up to. Jealous of the night We're jealous of the love The love that wasn't here 
apart for someone else to share or jealous of the love cause I wish you the best of all this world and I told you when you left me there's nothing to forgive but I always thought you'd come back to me all you found was heartbreak and misery. It's hard for me to say I'm jealous of the way you're happy without me. As I sing in the sand, watch you sleep through my hands. Oh, as I die another day, cause all I do is cry behind a smile. I wish you the best of all this world could give, and I told you. When you left me, there's nothing to forgive. But I always thought you'd come back. Tell me all you found was heartbreak. It's so hard for me to say I'm jealous of the way You're happy without me very difficult time as you go through that great loss. At this time, we would have a tribute by the family members. Calling on the undertaker. We need you at this time.
Can someone find the undertaker for us? Calling on the undertaker. You are needed at the front. The family members, Dalian's mom and dad, and the siblings, aunts, uncles, will express their love one last time to him. Now his dad and uncle around the coffin as we would be doing the prayer for the family right after. We have his sister Heidi expressing her love to her brother one last time. He will truly be missed. Expressing the love one last time to him. Cousins, and I think uncle, showing the expression of love to our Prince Dahlia and his very close friend. Cousins, Camille, expressing 
their love to him. His cousin, Michelle. Dalian will truly be missed, for he was our gem. God has called him home. Let us continue to live on with the memories and the love that we shared with him. His aunt, Petilia, expressing love. His cousin. His cousin. May God continue to strengthen all of you as you go through the road ahead of deep sadness and great loss. His love is always here to comfort you. The peace of God is always there to take you through those hard moments. Continue to call on God. His adopted mom expressing her love to the son that Shelley gave to her. May God continue to strengthen you for those hard days ahead of being at home without him. We pray that the love of God, his uncle Samuel and cousin, doing one final expression of love to the gem Dalian. I can still see persons with their roses. You can come and show your expression of love as you place the rose. Dalian will truly be missed. My prayer for all of you is that you would reach out to God to comfort you in the days that you feel like you cannot go on. For God is always here with you. He will always continue to be there with you. Deshaun, God is always with you. He will see you through those trying times. May the peace of God, the love of God, the strength of God carry all of you through this very, very, very challenging time for the road ahead. Be still and hear the voice of God as he comforts all of you through those trying times. I can still see persons with roses you can go ahead and place the rose next to Dalian as we get ready for the prayer for the family. Shelly, God is with you. Finba, God is with you. Heidi, God is with you. Glenn, God is with you. Dawn, we know you are watching. God is with you. I can still see persons with roses. Go ahead and place your rose next to Dalian as we get ready for the prayer for the family. Family members, you can stay right next to Dalian. It's always very sad when we have, especially a young, vibrant young man leaving us so soon. We may say he has gone too soon, but let us trust God, because God does all things well. He will continue to comfort all of you. We pray for strength for his grandmother, that God will see her through. Indeed, God is faithful. I can still see family members placing their roses. 
Go ahead and do that as the undertaker will get ready to close the casket. Go ahead and place your rose as we get ready for the prayer for the family. Family members, you can just circle around Dalian as pastor will pray for strength for all of you. I think that's it. I don't see anyone else with roses. So the undertaker, you can go ahead and close the casket. Family members, come a bit closer as I call on Pastor John Joseph to do the prayer for the family. Finban family, Shelly and family, come a little closer as we do the prayer for the family. We would like every one of you to please stand. And that's okay to cry. There is nothing wrong in crying. We would like everyone to stretch forth your hands towards the family members as we offer praise for them. Almighty King, great God of heaven, God of the universe, you who sits on the circle of the earth, we thank you that you do all things well. You are the one who determined whom to leave and whom to die. We thank you for the life of Dalian. And Lord, we are broken. We are hurting. Here is the Philippians family before you. I lift them up at this moment. I pray for the mother. I pray for the father. I pray, oh God, for the siblings. I pray, oh God, for the family members. I pray for his dear friends. In the name of Jesus. We pray at this time, Father, that you will comfort them. The God of all comfort will comfort them. Lord, you said, let not your heart be broken or be troubled. If you believe in God, believe also in me, even as they believe in you, God. We pray that you will wrap them in your arms. Wrap them in your arms. Let them know that you were with them. We give you thanks that we send a good soul to heaven. And we thank you for the life, the short life, well lived. We give you glory and praise. We pray, God, that you'll strengthen the family. Cause that the death of Dalian will unite them together. Will bind them together with cords that cannot be broken. In the name of Jesus, we pray that you will give them added grace, oh God. For you said your grace is sufficient. For your strength have made perfect in witnesses. And even then, we pray, throughout the weeks and the months and even the years to come, we pray, Father, that you'll keep them together. Let your grace be upon them. Let them know that you have made a promise to them. Lord, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. And until then, be with them. Until then, paraclete, comfort them. And let your grace carry them through this tough journey. In Jesus' mighty name, and everybody say, Amen. Amen. Lord, bless and keep you. Make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lifted up his continent upon you and give you peace. The Amen. peace of God that passeth all understanding shall keep your heart and your mind through Jesus Christ. Amen. At this time, you may have your seat as we'll have our expressions of gratitude by Miss Philomena Francis.
challenges and trauma. Major aspects of life on earth are never easy to deal with. On both sides of Dalian's family, we have had to deal with sudden death of a family member. But still, that tragedy of losing Dalian cuts deep, even to the core. For his loving parents, his entire family, close friends, and business associates, each day without seeing him, hearing his voice, and interacting with him, solidifies the reality of the end of a life lived so fully and happily. No words significantly elucidate the depth of turmoil and grief experienced by his loved ones. But we are extremely grateful for your expressions of love and concern. We proclaim profound gratitude to everyone who impacted his life, from his schooling to employment and his church family as well. To his numerous dear friends, with whom he shared his life's secrets, stories, cares and concerns, laughter and joy. Thank you for adding meaning to his life. We pray that every single individual or organization who reached out to us during this most difficult time understand that we appreciate you. When you offered words of comfort, we heard the times that you visited, we felt your presence. The monetary contributions that you made went a long way as they were utilized wisely. When you prayed for us, God heard. Your telephone calls were received with grace. Your physical labor, building his final resting place, preparing corsages, reeves, refreshments, leaflets, and driving us around helped to get the job done. And we are greatly appreciative of your selfless efforts. Your moral support at the most crucial times of December 18 and 31 and January 7 are forever cherished. Your presence at this service here is especially meaningful to us. If you are viewing through cyberspace, Uncle Alex, Uncle Linus, Auntie Colita, Marvin, Natalie, Shama, Shadia, Tori, Tasha, Denise, Auntie Julie, Firma, Dwayne, German, Auntie Ulancy, John Hope, and Matilda Well. Dalian's co-workers and our special friend, Auntie Mabel, Mr. Alexander, we are feeling your presence. All the awesome people who participated in this service to make it memorable, Pastor Joseph and his church team, our beloved sister Ivel, cousin Cyrilia, and her backup singers, the harmonious voices, and talent, the talented vision, vision band, the melodious singers who paid tribute in song as well as the oral tributes. You were truly remarkable. The management and staff of Sandals, Halcyon Beach Resort, Miss Chanel Co, the entire Philogens family, the Joseph family, Deshaun Augustine, Matthew David, Pastor B. Estefan, Crick's Funeral Home, especially Mr. Cohen Creek, Eleanor Studios, the close friends of Chris, the close friends of Shelley, your support, encouragement, time, advice, company, as well as well wishes are invaluable and greatly appreciated. We are aware that you would have done all within your power to make our pain bearable. And for this, we are extremely grateful. Dalian was a very pleasant young man who positively impacted the lives of those with whom he interacted. He will be sorely missed by all of us. We are certain 
that you would bring him back if you could have. Dalian, you meant so much by Cassie Mitchell. You meant so much to all of us. You were special, and that's no lie. You brighten up the darkest day and the cloudiest sky. Your smile alone warmed the hearts. Your laugh was music to her. You would give absolutely anything to have you well and standing near. Not a second passes when you're not on our minds. Your love will never, your love we will never forget. The hurt will ease in time. Many tears I have seen and cried. They, ha they have all poured out like rain. I know that you are happy now and no longer in any pain. Beloved family and friends, we thank you so much. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face shine upon you and give you peace. May the tragic loss of Dalian draw you closer to God. And may you develop a closer, truer, and more meaningful relationship with the ones you love. We thank you sincerely. Thank you, Philomena. At this time, we'll get ready to take our gem Dalian to his resting place, which is at the Jackmel Cemetery. We call on our worship team to do our recessional song, which is wonderful. Love family members, Paul Bearers, we are calling on our Paul Bearers to take Dalian to wheel him out of the church. Your love is so wonderful. Your love is so wonderful, so high. I can't get over it, so low. I can't get under it, so wide. I can't get around it, Jesus. You give me wonderful love. Your love is so wonderful. Your love is so wonderful, so You give me wonderful love. Oh, love is so wonderful. Your love is so wonderful, so high. I can't get over it so low. I can't get under it so wide. I can't get around it, Jesus. You give me wonderful love. It's so wonderful. Your love is so wonderful, so high. I can't get You give me wonderful love. It never fails, it never runs out. That's Jesus. the kind of love that I found. It never leaves, it never gives up on me. That's the kind of grace that I found. It never fails, it never runs out on me. That's the kind of love that I find. It never leaves, it never gives out on me. That's the kind of grace that I found. It and it is so high. You give me wonderful love. Your love is so wonderful. Your love.
the morning when I rise in the morning when I arise in the morning when I rise oh give me Jesus give me Jesus oh give me Jesus
And heaven will the name 
just standing before the king. Oh, I can only imagine what it would be like. There is a song. And thus you must be told. The Lord give us, the Lord take us away. Blessed be he, the name of the Lord. Everybody bow your heads and let us say the Lord's prayer together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Lord, we thank you, and we praise you, that you do have all things well. Who are we to question you? You are the one who determines whom to lead and whom to die. And even now, I pray for the Fugitive family. I pray for every one of them. Holy Spirit, I pray that you will draw near to them. And may you bring comfort to every troubled heart. In the name of Jesus, we mark this part of earth, this tomb, until the day of the resurrection, when Zion will resurrect again. And until then, May you be with the family. Until then, may you strengthen them. Until then, may you unite them in the name of Jesus. Keep them, O oh God, and may you heal the broken heart. In Jesus' mighty name, and everybody say, Amen. Farewell, darling. See you in the new song.
If you give a little more than you take And if you try to fix more than you break If you're the kind who takes the time to help a stranger in the rain There's a place for people like you if you stand up for those down on their knees And lend a voice to those who cannot speak If you shine a little light, give sight to the ones who've lost their way There's a place for people like you I've heard up there the streets are made of gold And when you get there, there's a hand to hold I believe when your days down here are through There's a place up there for people like you if you walk around with your heart on your sleeve And if you're trying to be the change you want to see If you lay down your life for love so someone could be saved There's a place for people like you Streets are made of gold And when you get there There's a hand to hold I believe When your days down here are through There's a place Up there For people like you i
there's a place up there for people like you. There's a place up there for people like you The morning when I rise in the morning when I arise in the morning when I rise oh give me Jesus give me Jesus oh give me Jesus all I need Oh, it's all I need Give me Jesus Oh In the morning when I rise When I lay my head down 
Say we worship you. 